Hey everyone, Kevin Muldoon here and as you can see I've got the HTC U11 here. This is the new flagship phone from HTC. Apologise for my raspy voice, I do have the flu at the moment. You can see here I've got the amazing silver version. And this is one of the best phones out in the market at the moment. You can see it's got 64 gigabytes of RAM. It's got a, I'll zoom in a little bit. It's got a Snapdragon 835, 5.5-inch screen, Quad HD display, 2 terabyte uh, of storage as possible through the micro SD card, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 12 megapixel camera on the back, 16, self, uh, 16 megapixel camera on the front, and it is waterproof, but there's no headphone jack. The other big selling thing is it's good for audio, and it's got that squeezy edge sense. So... Let's see what's in the box. So here we have the HTC U11. I've got the amazing silver version and you can see from this three prong plug that I am in the UK. So we get the plug. We get a USB type A to type C charging cable. We get spare earbuds, spare earbuds, sorry. And we get the earphones themselves. Now the, the earbuds, if I get them out. As you can see, this doesn't have a headphone jack, so it's powered through the USB port. These are apparently very good. They've got a digital audio converter inside them. I was under the, the impression that you also got um, USB Type-C 3.5mm adapter as well, but I can't see that anywhere. So, with regards to this cable, I think it's disappointing that I've put in a Type-A to Type-C cable rather than a Type-C to Type-C. So that's quite frustrating. It uses Quick Charge 3, not Quick Charge 4. And just see if there's anything else in here. Maybe there is. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the adapter. So there's the Type C to 3.5 millimeter adapter. So you can use your headphones. There is also silicone case in it because this thing is a fingerprint magnet. There is a SIM ejection tool there. We have a cloth, because again, it's a fingerprint magnet. And we have warranties and manuals. Limited warranty, a manual that's much like a safety guide. Okay, so, to summarize, we have the phone, a cloth, an ejector tool, silicone case, a USB A to Type C with the, the adapter. We've got these USB Type C headphones that apparently are very good. They've got noise cancellation. They're getting very good uh, reviews. And we've got the converter and earbuds. So, on to the phone itself. Feels quite good. Quite light. Very thin. Um, let me get this off. Oh, look how shiny that is. So, there's the back. You've got the camera there. The top, you've got the, it looks like the SIM card slot. Um, I'm not sure which one is a SIM card. Oh, it's a double SIM card and micro SD slot. Nothing on the left hand side. You've got power and volume on the right hand side. It's in a good position. Home screen down here. Very, very nice. I wasn't sure which colour to go for, but I must say this looks fantastic. So 
So the case that comes with it, it's not a fantastic case. It doesn't go around all the sides. I'm not sure what it's like in the USA, but in the UK just now, it's very hard to buy any type of accessory for this. There's no cases out for at least another week or so. There's no screen protectors or anything like that. Now, this has got a 5.5-inch screen, but you can see, you know, looking at my Google Nexus 6P, which is also in a case, it's a little bit thinner, a little bit shorter down. Now, people have talked about the, the bezels on this being bigger. Um, sorry, I forget that in the shot. People have talked about this, uh, the bezels on the, the U11 being big. And, you know, and, and compared to the Samsung S8, I would say that's true, probably against the LG G6 as well. But I don't think they're too bad. You can see the bezel down at the bottom here. So I've brought down my camera a little bit so you can see the phone a little bit better. I, I, I like the fact they've thrown in this case, which I suspect is solely, solely to stop it from being a fingerprint magnet. But I will say I, I had the HTC M8 and, you know, this aluminium material, it looks fantastic, but it makes it very, very slippery and... It also, it scrapes very easily. And that, you know, it's coming from someone who, even though he had a case, scraped his phone because it dropped out. Um, I'm probably going to put this in a spiking case or something like that. So there you go. This has been the HTC U11. I'm going to do a lot of other videos on this over the next week or so. If you get any questions about it, please do ask in the comment area and I'll try my best to accommodate you. I will show you edge sense in the next video and then i like to do some videos and show you the camera video capabilities that type of thing any questions as i said please do leave a comment below i'll do my best and until next time thanks for watching